Now, many of you are wondering, which beach is this? Um? Now, for those of you who are familiar with the Leeward area, you will be able to tell, oh yes, this is the Peter's Hope Beach. And I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with this beach. Up there on the hillside, those are the houses overlooking the beach. As you're going towards Barley, the main road is somewhere up there. Right across up there, entering into Barley. And these are the houses you will see on your left hand side as you go into Barley after leaving the Barley Secondary School going towards Barley. The rock you see seen out there is what you call the submarine rock as you get on top of the hill just before entering into Bali you will see that piece of rock out there down in the bottle and glass area and this is the big rock here yeah, just where we have those houses hanging over there I'm down here on the beach just trying to bring it to the attention of some of those people who don't really know exactly how to get to this beach because some time ago I took a photograph of this area from the road and somebody was saying that they don't know that there is a beach down here now this beach here is one of the beaches we have the mountain beach just beyond that point on the other side and we have the black sand project taking place right on top of the hill up there so that black sand project is being done between our two beaches, our Peter So Beach, the beach which I'm now on, and the mountain beach which is on the other side of, of this hillside. Here. And up there on the hill, we have um, the structure that is going up for one of the structures that they have putting up for the, the different villas, the, the hotel project right on top of the hill and I am down on the beach down here just it is very quiet nobody is here the road is a long road coming down here it, it is moderable but you have to be very cautious you have to have a high vehicle coming down because certain areas we have some big stones in the road it is not as stony and rugged as the mountain road but it is not as as motorable I would say as the mountain road. but if you have a high vehicle and you're a good driver maybe you can maneuver your vehicle or you can park it up the road and walk come down but this is a nice beach quiet secluded area I have come here several times because I'm originally from the Bali area so you know I could just walk come over and to be around here in this area so I will be heading out now so that I will give you an idea as to how you're getting out from here so here is the beach this section of the beach where I'm at is nice and sandy except for the, the garbage you know the leaves and so forth this area in comparison to the area over there further ahead of me that area is quite stony so anyone coming to this beach will more um, occupy this side of the beach rather than going towards the northern side of the beach. so I'm heading further out and when I get to the roadway leading out from the beach I will join you back again some nice tamarind tree we have one two a couple of them here and I can remember this spot up to just a while ago I was looking at a photograph that I took down here many years ago this area I'm not going into any details really but as you can see where we have the stones there a rocky area nobody is going down there today but here we have all the nice sandy relaxed sandy beach area going all the way back up there. quite a lot of sand and this is so because nobody actually mines sand in this area I am seeing a, a, a dig out there 
which indicate that maybe somebody was removing sand from here but this is what it looks like in this spot right across here. so I'm going to head out now and I'm going to give you an idea as of you now as from this point it is now 20 minutes past the hour so I'm going to time myself to see how much time I will take from that point there of the beach to the main road. Now where I'm going to come out, mind you, is where we had the old Mountain Peters Hope Road. Remember the road has been diverted for the purpose of what we have taken place here now. The purpose of building these, these villas and whatever you call them. And as you can see here in the camera, we have work going on there right now. As you can see, a walker right there, and you can hear the pounding. This is one section of the project that is taking place right here now at Peter's Hope. Up there you have one of the towers for the mill that we used to have down here long ago. Now I'm heading out still. Now all this is the road you're seeing here. And I'm walking, mind you. This is another point you can enter to the beach. Yeah, the garbage there. Our people just love to litter. But what they don't realize, when you litter and the garbage go into the sea, from time to time the seawater just push them back up on the land for us to deal with. So we are creating our own problem. Nature has a way of cleaning itself. And if we don't understand that and stop littering our country, we would, it will be too late when we do realize it. So this is the road to the Peters Hope Beach. Like I told you, I am walking so I can give you a better shot as to what the road looks like and how you can get there. Let me turn around now to show you some more shots of the work going on up the desert. Uh, concrete truck we have a backhoe right there and we have another truck delivering concrete in that area and the Peter's Hope uh, mountain project so continue my journey after spending a few seconds there to show you that I am not going to show you the whole video right off I think I better do that so we can have a better end. But once you start on the road, you see where it starts to get there, you will understand how to get there. It's kind of lonely and most likely I will advise you, if you're coming, don't do like me. Come with someone, come with friends, more than one person. But i taken my chances. I don't think anybody will try to do me anything down here. It's quiet, it's secluded, nice spot for lovers. You want to get away, steal somebody, woman, as it is a custom here in St. Vincent. And you want to hide away with her in some area. This is one of the beaches you can come. Or you have your special partner and you want to have a, a day away with her or him, then you can use Peter's Hope Beach. I don't think a lot of people know about it. Most of the people who will know about it basically are people from Peter's Hope, Barley, Curtains, these areas who are familiar with our beaches. So I'm heading out still. Still on the road you can see the, the vehicle track area. It is not as stony as the mountain road. This is more dirt. A stone covered with dirt. It is not as flat or level, let me say level, as the mountain road. This is more sloping towards one side. I'm sloping towards the south, if I recall. So, yes, we have a lot of trees covering the air, making it look a bit dark. The one area I have seen where, when I said, if you have a low vehicle, it might not be able for you to pass. Persons with high vehicle, like the SUV, you know, those jeeps 
and so forth you will be able to come down easily because your vehicle will be higher off the road there is an area higher up and I'm getting to there where we it is kind of stony and have some big stones protruding out of the ground and that probably to me is the only difficult area for those persons who probably have low cars low cars for just about three or so inches off the ground of the road so you have to be very careful how you right but you can make it still cross here not too much of a big stone but the way the road is sloping you have to be very careful with some of the stones we see in here they're not too bad but if you want to drive come down you can come take a chance or you can leave the vehicle up the road and walk down and so far it is now five minutes into my walk from the beach towards the main road and we have a couple more stones but they are not too high to ride over so you, you get a point up there we have the Peters Hope housing project right there on top of the hill yeah, that's the tower there we're looking at and as I look back over there you can see where they have the work going on currently the housing project or uh, the hotel Blackstone project well I guess in the times to come all this land area will be occupied with hotel so it is about to rain and I am almost at the main road just to give you an idea I want you to see exactly where I am coming out so that just in case you are visiting St. Vincent and the Grenadines and you are on the leeward side and you want to go to Peter's Hope Beach um, you know exactly where to cut in now these are the stones I've been telling you about really how it, you're going to be difficult for you at Lucas as you can see how they are but if you take your time and you look for a good spot you might be able to maneuver and get down except for these the rest of the road is quite okay you can drive come down but those persons with low vehicle have to exercise a bit more caution the ones with the higher vehicles then you won't have any problem going down but the mountain road is a much better road in terms of moving lower vehicle but this road is also good road yeah. so here i'm almost out at the end as you can see you have a good distance and all down there is where i just came from walking coming up and you have all this is land yeah so here we are still on the road coming up here you can hear the sound of the school children at the school somewhere over on my left and this no doubt those of you who have incension will know what this is this is a coal pit for those of you who don't know this is where you cut down the logs of trees big trees mango trees google trees whatever kind of tree and you pack it in a nice way with a little arch hole hole where you could light it then around the wood you pack um banana bodies some people use galvanized yes you like you have the coconut branches there on the side that is to keep out the oxygen really you don't want too much oxygen coming inside just want a little bit and this is where you have the smoke coming out as the coal pit burns slowly if you have too much oxygen going on it will give too much energy to the fire and you won't have any coals and this will burn the wood to a charcoal okay and when it is burned it will fall in then the 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 man the person who set the coal pit you know after uh, that is done they remove all the dirt and all the bushes and all the branches and then you have to have water too because the coal will be f uh, with that fire in them and they start um, harvesting the coal and selling it using a straw coal this is just an example of a coal pit we call it coal pit i don't know what you call it in your country 
whoever you're with. But being central, we know what it is called. It is a cool bill. So I'm heading up and I've stopped to tell you a lot of things. And my time is just nine minutes into the walk. But remember, I stood up some places. I tell you, so we'll see an average of about eight minutes or so to get out of this area. And here I am back on the main road. This is where this piece of road here is where we the old road used to be. It used to pass all the way back here and in the background there. If you know where the road to go to the mountain beaches, they used to come off in that area and drive around. You come around here on this road, right? And you're driving on this road here. And I will show you where you will come out. Um, when you used to use this road. So when you get to this, just before you reach the tall tower, you make a right turn. You're coming in from the opposite end of the Barley Secondary School, called the Central Leroy Secondary School. Up there, you have the school, and this road, when you're going to Barley, or when we used to go to Barley long ago, and this was the main road, this is where we used to come out. And if you notice where that van is stopped there, we used to turn left because there wasn't any road up at the top. We turned in left. Right, but the main road now goes straight up. And this is just, this will be fixed. This will be an access road to the beach, to those houses later on. You see a van passing there? That is the main road. Right there. So when you get to this point, if you're coming towards the leeward side from Kingston and you want to go to the Petersburg Beach, all you have to do is just turn left at this point with the secondary school there as a landmark. Turning left, turning left, and you're going down this area. There. If you're coming from the leeward side, you have to make a right turn and come down here to get to the Peter's Hope Beach. So I'm going back to the vehicle right now and I'm going to head out of Barrel Hill. What I might probably do is go around on the other side and um, give you a view of the project coming from the other end of the mountain Peters. So out there is the main road and this is the road where you're looking at out there where that van is passing. Right at the gap there is where we used to have to drive in to get back to Barley from Kingston. Now this is the road heading to the mountain beach. We have two mountain beach we call them Little Bee and Big Bee. I think this one is what you call the Big Bee. This. The other one is wrong at the other side. Now this is where you enter from the Mount Twin side to go to the resort villas. The Black Sun Resort Villas. This is the sign we have here. Now trucks go in there with, with stuff, with concrete and so forth. Pass here. But this is the sign that they have put up here. Which says construction site. Keep out. Enter at your own risk. Now, I am going to enter, or whatever happens to me, if something happens, I am solely responsible. Because the warning is there, and I did not pay attention to it. But I just want to go to show you something. Now, this is the road. You're going to Barley long ago, before they had that road that I just came on. This is our, this used to be our main road drive go all the way around here now i i don't want to drive come up inside here and park in here because i don't want to get boxed in okay so i'm going to take a walk go around and uh, you're going to see the road is not too bad really you know compared to some of the roads that we have here in st vincent even though it has been here for years and covered it with, now that it is clear you see what it looks like. So I'm going in. When I get wrong so, <laughs> wrong the other side, I will give you some more updates.
twin road that used to take you to Bali. And as I stand up, I'm looking down there and the Mount Twin Road that will take you to the beach. So I'm at this point here right now on the main road, going around to where they have the project. And as you look around, you can see mountain side over there. You can see part of the Leeward Highway heading into Barry. For those of you who were not born at the time, living in the Leeward side, or even living in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, over this used to be our first um, main road to get into Barley and to go beyond the Barley area. Before we had the new road, all that area, as you can look at it now from this, this vantage point, used to be just like that. There never used to be a road up there. When the vehicle got to the flat down there where the gap used to come to the mountain beach, they used to come into that area come around on this road you're going to Barley you're coming from North Leeward going to Kingston and this used to be the road that we once used to use now it is cleared it is trimmed the grass is cut the road is cleared because over the period of years since the road was closed um, you had grass thing but now that the project is taking place the Black Sun Resort project is taking place the road is now cleared so that vehicles that are, um, have to get to the construction site can use this road to get there out of the way. They can also use the other road around, but this is a better road out of the way of other vehicular traffic once they get to this one, which will take them closer to the project. And stand up here, I can look down, down there is where we have the mountain beach it's one of the beaches on this close end here and the other one is on the outskirt out there extending maybe when i get closer to that corner up there i might be able to see the beach itself and show you exactly what it looks like from on top of the hill what it used to look like for us traveling along this road going to Kingston or coming from Kingston years ago before we had the old main road. So when I get up there, I'm going to give you another view and a good view of the, the two side of the beaches. Now because that piece of rock you see hanging out there is what spoiled this area. If there wasn't that rock protruding there, we would probably would have a long beach stretch going all the way back out to the end. But because of the rock, we have the beach divided. This is one section of the mountain beach here, as you can see here, and that is the other. The, we call over there the private mountain beach. I don't know why, but to get access to that, maybe you have to get permission. I don't know. But this is the, the mountain beach where we have the gazebos and so forth, where people go for the picnic. Right now, Sound of voice is coming from down there. You can see. And over there we have the other beach, other mountain beach, which you can access by going further on. We get to that area. Yeah. So, all here you can see section of the road going towards Barley years ago. So, I'm still going around. I still have more areas to cover. On my left over there you have the nice calm seawater. So I'm still going around. I don't know how much further I have to go. There is a dark cloud over my head and I do not have my umbrella with me. So I hope the rain does not fall before I get back to my starting point. So there we have continuation of the road. I am coming to this end to see if I can capture anything from here. But from where I'm standing here and I can look over in that area, I can see the curtains village up there, section of the barrel from the old um, mountain road. I am 
at the site area just above on the main road looking down at the site right below me down there you can see the peters hope beach there's a smaller beach in the background there after the peters hope beach i don't know over there you can see the houses background at the top of the hill over there is the secondary school i'm going a bit closer to show a bit of the site i don't really want to take the chance of going down there but just want to give you an idea as to what is taking place some of the work that is going on the rain came and stopped play apparently this is one of the houses. This is here. Just looking at the beach down there. The guys down there are walking. They are still. And over there we have the secondary school. And you can see a piece of the Peter's Hope housing area. Here you have it folks, taking a sneak peek at the work that is going on here at the Black Sun Resort Mountain Peter's Hope area. So I'm heading back on my way out. It's a long way out. There's a truck just delivering concrete heading out of the area. And these vehicles use this road here to get out of the site. So I'm going to clear my way out. It has just rained, got a little damp. And we still have some dark clouds over here. So I am heading out from this area after giving you a little insight as to the progress of the work taking place here at Mount Twin Peter's Hope and just over there you have the coastline of the beautiful Leeward Coast of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So that's all. And let me warn you, you know, don't think because I've shown you this means that it's something that I'm going to do regularly. I'm just in Barley area to deal with some personal matters. And because I always have my camera with me and have to pass this area, I choose, and I have the time on my hand, I choose to do this little project here. Uh, just to give you a taste of what is happening here um, on the Leeward Coast. So don't expect much more for me but occasionally if I happen to visit the area and I have the time I probably will I am not making any promises because work like this don't come cheap so I'm just warning you have a blessed time whenever time you're looking at this but in the night day weekend or what you just enjoy yourself and always remember my name is Sydney Morgan and I am here at the Leeward Coast on the Mount Twin, Old Mount Twin Road, just giving you an insight as to what is taking place there at the Black Sun Resort project. Well, I'm almost close to the end, back to the main road, after my long walk in. It was a good trip, a good exercise, except for the little drizzle that came and kind of sprinkled me, but I'm good. Heading out now, going back to Kingstown, after giving you a small peep of the work taking place at the Black Sand Resort Hotel project here at the Mount Twain Peters Hope area and I hope that you enjoyed it and and I just want you to know that whenever the time I get the time the opportunity arises and I can do something I will give you a peep of the work as it progresses but I am not making any solemn promise because I am not one who likes to make promises 
because when I do make promises, I, like a man, I stick to my promise. Says, now behind me I hear the sound of a truck, one of the cement truck, and you can see it coming down. Come up there. Come up there. So that was the truck we saw a while ago up there. Um, delivering the concrete, so I see.